this is my first to ten contest with IFC Zangief. If you're hanging out in a chat room in Xbox Live and you mention IFC Zangief, there's bound to be uh, two or three guys in there that have a story about getting murdered by IFC Zangief. And that's uh, really strong players too. Um, this guy is, is an amazing Zangief player. Now, obviously offline he's a, uh, a strong tournament player and, and competes in large tournaments, but um, online the guy's, the guy's a legend. I've been really fortunate to play with IFC Zangief a lot. Uh, he's invited me a few times and, and he plays long sets. So you really get exposed to, to, to what uh, he can do with this character. And what this character can do to you. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of sound advice on how to handle Zangief because this is a matchup that I'm really uh, trying to learn myself. Um, I know you don't want him to jump on you because of his uh, options on jumping, and uh, you really don't want to shoot fireballs at him when he's got EX, uh, especially IFC Zangief because he's so tight with his uh, EX uh, green hand execution in, in response to fireballs. Here I wake up on, on Zangief with EX Tatsu. Um, EX Tatsu isn't that bad against Zangief because he's always messing with you on, on your wake up. He's always striking you or trying to throw you. Um, the only thing that he can do that really beats uh, EX uh, Tatsu is block or cross you up. Uh, so if he's not doing one of those two options, then it's a pretty safe bet. Zangief has the strongest wake-up mix-up in, in, in Street Fighter 4, uh, so anything that knocks you down is something you don't want to have anything to do with, primarily Lariat or EX Hand. Now, of course, um, Spinning Pile Driver is going to knock you down, uh, but of the three, that's the one that you want to get hit with. Uh, because his wake-up mix-up mix -up isn't as strong uh, from that option. Now obviously teching isn't something that you want to do on Zangief. Uh, no, he's not going to be doing any normal throws on you. So you want to edit that out of your game. Well, if you're going to block, block. Uh, and uh, blocking low is, is the one you want to go with. He's not going to overhead you. Uh, if you're going to jump, jump. You know, Just choose one of the two. Here I get a high dive kick and uh, choose to go with jabs. Um, then I'm not fast enough on my little dash throw. Uh, the reason why I go to jabs is, is because you don't have enough time after a, a high hit on Zangief uh, with dive kick or with fierce punch uh, to go into a crouching fierce. You have to go to a four frame attack, uh, which is your jab. If you try uh, standing strong, which is a five frame attack, uh, he can mash out of it with lariat or throw. Um, so you, you really are forced into using your jabs against uh, Zangief if you connect high hits. Here I block an EX green hand and get back throw. You automatically get back throw if you block EX green hand. Uh, you also get crouching fierce into EX palm, uh, but the timing is, is pretty tight. Uh, so if you want to be safe, uh, just go for the back throw and tatsu him or ultra him. Here I block the EX green hand and suffer from the IFC Zangief effect and <laughs> get jab punch instead of throw. <laughs> get a knockdown here and go for an early fireball and wake up. If he had used his EX uh, green hand there, if I survived blocking it, I would have gotten the back throw into ultra, uh, but he didn't do it. Here I get crouching roundhouse on him a, a couple of times, and it's relatively a good poke against Zangief, but, but you need to be careful because your hitbox is high uh, when you do crouching roundhouse and, and it gets stuffed by Lariat, even at max range. Once Zangief has backed me into a corner, I'm looking for a chance to tatsu out like that. Uh, watch out for neutral jump headbutt, of course. Here uh, he gets a jump in uh, uh, when I'm poking and uh, lands his ultra from the jump in. Uh, can't ever let him jump at you like that. Uh, I should have been holding uh, up back as soon as soon as I saw that happen.
the last time I fought IFC Zangief, I told myself, all right, don't let him jump on you no matter what. But here, you see, it's not really that great a trade to use Crouching First Punch. Uh, so I think in the future, I'm just going to concentrate on if I see him jump, then uh, jump back and hit a hard kick. Uh, and hopefully the range on that will uh, will take care of whatever he, whatever he comes in with. You get to see a lot of this buffered uh, crouching light kick into into EX green hand. <laughs> Man, <laughs> impressive. I start off this round with a standing fierce punch, and it stuffs the green hand. Uh, it stuffs Lariat too. It, it stuffs a lot of his pokes, uh, so it, it's got a good favorable hitbox for you. I, I don't do it anywhere near enough. Um, it's a good, a good standard poke against Zangief. Right here, you see how that uh, crouching fierce whiffed? It's something very frustrating about trying to anti-air Zangief with Goken. Uh, it's, his hitbox is kind of strange. Um, it's like it's it's a little higher than it looks or, or something. He's kind of hard to hit out of the air. Uh, just another uh, example of why it's probably better to be uh, responding to his jump-ins with just uh, up back than, than trying to hit him out of the air. When you fight against a Zangief that can do this consistently, crouching shorts and into EX green hand, um, that's the kind of Zangief you want to practice against, because he has the, the full arsenal of, uh, of Zangief's pressure at his disposal. Um, you know, somebody that's just trying to, to 360 you all the time, uh, you'll, you'll have the tendency to start jumping straight up and down on him a lot. Um, if you try to jump away from that kind of pressure, it's just going to combo you with the EX green hand and uh, start his pressure again on, on knockdown. Right after this fireball, I get hit by Lariat. That was Crouching Roundhouse. You can see yeah, the hitbox uh, penalty uh, on Crouching Roundhouse against uh, Lariat. Um, if I had poked him with uh, Standing Fierce Punch, it would have been successful. I think this is the first time I've gotten five fights into a part one. <laughs> 